Hi guys, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at outlining the relationship between pulmonary and systemic circulation. So the best way for us to understand this is to go on a journey that the blood takes around the body. So we're going to start with deoxygenated blood as it returns back to the heart in the vena cava. It then enters the heart by the right atrium, travels through the tricuspid valve and into the right ventricle. It then leaves the heart in the pulmonary artery and returns to the lungs. Once in the lungs, gaseous exchange takes place, so carbon dioxide is deposited, oxygen is taken into the bloodstream. Oxygenated blood then leaves the lungs and returns back to the heart in the pulmonary vein. It enters the heart into the left atrium, travels through the bicuspid valve into the left ventricle. It then leaves the heart in the aorta and oxygenated blood then travels to the systems in the body. These include the working muscles, the liver, the kidneys, digestive system, skin and brain. So to summarize guys, the relationship between pulmonary and systemic circulation is to make sure that deoxygenated blood is returned to the heart from the body, taken to the lungs where it picks up fresh, up, fresh oxygen, returns to the heart and is then pumped around the body. So anything including the heart, pulmonary artery, pulmonary veins and the lungs, this is the pulmonary circulation. Anything that includes the heart, aorta, vena cava and the body is the systemic circulation. And there we have it. So just make sure that you're familiar with all of the key blood vessels, chambers of the heart and the key terms of pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation. See you guys soon.